Boston Robotics Company, determined to eliminate food insecurity, has taken a bit of a detour into cannabis. As NBC 10's Glenn Jones found out, a do-it-yourself, pot-growing AI robot could shake up the way people buy cannabis. In Boston's Seaport District, there's a village of big idea robot creators. One of them has literally planted a seed. What color are your thumbs? <laughs> I don't know, the opposite of green. <laughs> Carl Palme founded Anaboto. We have four pumps. They make robots that grow plants in people's homes, any plant. Right now, cannabis is driving the demand. People who use cannabis as a, you know, for health and wellness, they want something that's clean, that's pesticide free, and that's consistent so you can dose it accordingly. When you grow at home, you get all of those benefits, but growing at home is so challenging. Cannabis is notoriously difficult to grow domestically, and Obato does it hydroponically. That means no soil. We're making it easy, and all you have to do is just add water and press a button. So when I found out about this product, my first thought was, there's no way. <laughs> Let's build an at-home growing robot. Casey Sanginario, a cannabis educator in Rhode Island, tried Anabato through a 90-day harvest, from assembly to seedling to flower. By the end, her skepticism went up in smoke. She expects some consumers get the robot to shake the discomfort associated at times with dispensaries. Do you sometimes run into consumers who are a little wary about going to a dispensary? All the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Like, all of them, I think there is still, like, um, a lot of stigma around that. I absolutely love it. In the summer, Anobato paid Casey to try it, post about it online. That deal is wrapped now, yet she's still gearing up for for harvest number two. To be honest, you don't notice the AI working because you don't have to be involved with it. You just have to put water in it and hit a button. And behind the scenes, this is kind of what it looks like. This is how the robot becomes agriculturally intelligent. Katie arms it with pumps to feed the plant. That's Colin. He adds the computer to the camera, the lights, all the electronics. But the secret sauce is over here with Yaniv. He manages the robot's artificial intelligence, perfecting the science of botany with every image, every piece of data that comes back to Boston over the Internet. We're learning from people growing in Arizona and Massachusetts and California and all of that information is being relayed back to us. And the more data we get, the better the AI performs. Between $700 and $1,000 for the robot shipped to front doors with a promise. Anobato will be smarter tomorrow than he is today. Based on the cost of the robot and the current retail price of cannabis, Anobato users say they break even in less than two 90-day harvest cycles. I'm Glenn Jones, NBC10 Boston.